pretty straightforward. We just spin this part, and the lens come out. You can also use your hand. Just avoid touching the lens to get the proper focus on the screen. And there's a keystone adjustments to, you know, adjust the picture tilt, I guess. And there is also a screw here for um, more precise tuning. One thing I want to point out is that the uh, cover cannot be put back until the lens is fully retracted. We have all the controls here that I do not actually need to use the remote. And, uh, Press the source a few times to cycle through, then press OK to confirm. We have two HDMI inputs. And this one appears to be uh, power only. And we have um, VGA. And of course, the other one must be uh, the input for your thumb drive. And this window looks like a infrared um, receiver. We have a couple of mounts here, I think, so it can be mounted on the ceiling upside down. We have, we got a speaker here. By the way, the speaker, the audio quality from this speaker is the best I've heard. It's pretty loud and have decent, decent bass. Got another um, infrared receiver window here, and that's pretty much it. I put the projector on the little shelf that I made earlier, connected to a Chromecast, which is powered directly from its USB port. And on the other side of the wall is a bit gray, so I decided to um, put on some white projector screen here. Ignore the line. It's not ideal, but it's much better than the gray wall. The gray wall. Right? Uh, the distance from the wall to the lens is approximately nine feet, a little bit more than nine feet. And I'm gonna hook this up to my solar generator, just fully charged. I just turn on the AC power. It's drawing um, seven walls. Let me, let me power on. This thing itself consumes about three to five volts idle. So the unit projector is drawing about 165 volts, maybe. unedited video and audio. The fan noise is pretty low.
my Xbox 360 to the other HDMI port. And now we have to switch to the input to use the second HDMI. And turn on the Xbox. Again, sorry about the line in the middle. It's the door frame. This massive screen provides a immersive gaming experience. The screen is bright enough in the evening when we have all the lights off. It's just awesome. Thank you.